here at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. It is the 15th, no, the 10th of February, 2015. We're going to be doing some uh, testing. Here's a press, my favorite kind of press. It's ready to ship. Um, we're going to run the test over here in a, a model CP4 screw press. Uh, the, we're going to run spent coffee grounds, which we uh, came in by DHL from uh, CCL in India. Uh, we have a neat little variable frequency drive hooked up on this press. It plugs into uh, 110 volts single phase or 220 overseas. Single phase goes in and three phase comes out so we can vary the speed from uh, 0 to 120 hertz. And to start this press I hit the start button and now it is going forward. I see the screw rotating there. In the inlet hopper, you can see the screw going around. The liquid will be squeezed out through the screen, and the solid cake comes out this end. We're uh, going to look at double pressing. The material we're pressing, uh, well, we'll have samples of it. Okay, now. we started to feed some material in here. There you see the screw turning. And sure enough, we're squeezing out some liquid. The cone is starting to open. You've got that set at 30 PSI, 2 bar pressure, and um, liquid's coming out, and we'll keep this loaded. I'm going to run a capacity test. Okay, we're running a capacity test now. That is, we started uh, 30 seconds ago collecting uh, press liquor, and uh, there's our press liquor cake. We'll run the uh, rest of the sample and then we're going to go into uh, double and even triple pressing. Okay, we're starting a second pressing. The material in the press right now is the material from the first pressing. We'll have to clear that out and then we'll see what happens and we'll uh, start another test. Uh, we got the test results on capacity, a uh, three-minute test. It took three minutes uh, while we ran a three-minute test. Okay, we're running a second-time test. Uh, we cleared out a bunch of the original material, and so this is the second pressing. It looks a little finer ground to me. We have pulverized that stuff. I'll show photos of that later on. Uh, but notice we're not getting out much press liquor at all. Even though everything else is the same, uh, pressure is still a two bar air pressure, um, screw going the same RPM. So this tells me that double pressing is not worthwhile. We're, the amount of liquid being separated right here is not sufficient to pay for the capital investment required in a second press. In our first pressing, we remove the practical amount of water. You can see the flow of press liquor is a lot less than it was previously. And we're almost empty. Yeah, okay, our first test was um, um, three minutes. Second test was only two minutes. Um, this is a pilot area, and you notice we've got a lot of screw presses here. Of course, we've really got a lot of screw presses um, available for use in testing. You count inlet hoppers. The uh, screw department is down here. Um, well, we have got a lot of screws. Um, this is you know, where we manufacture the screws. This is shipping, receiving. I think everybody's going to lunch right now. A little more of the screw department. Um, there's where they're welding them out. The white material is to keep the weld splatter from sticking. And they're welded out over there. We uh, buy lights, which we, uh, helicoid sections of metal, which we weld onto the shaft to make these screws. This is the assembly department where you see uh, mostly the frames for screw presses that we're going to be building. 
and right now we have a lot of small presses going through assembly. Shoulder machine. That one's getting closer to being ready to ship. Clean. A couple more small presses. Another one. And another one down there. So we've got a lot of activity right now. Here's a BP-16 screw press uh, built for coffee for um, DEA Niro Process Engineering, uh, destined for Malaysia, uh, for uh, you know, IEC motor on this one, Sumitomo Cycle Gearbox. Uh, now this one's waiting for the cargo container. The uh, Moisture analysis results uh, came as such a uh, surprise to me that we re-ran everything over again. Uh, what we found was uh, I'd expected the material to squeeze down to about under 60% moisture. Instead, with the first pressing, we were only at 65% moisture. Um, and uh, also in the video I commented, we didn't get off uh, out in much additional water with second pressing. Yet we went from uh, 65 in the second pressing, uh, we were down to uh, 61, a, a big drop. I can't explain that. <clears throat> it probably ties into the material. This is the as received material. Uh, one, there's a lot of fine particles. Uh, uh, there's uh, dust in there. It doesn't show up uh, quite as much here. Also, so a surprising number of large particles. The, uh, uh, the grind was not a, a real uniform grind. And I think our problem uh, came from uh, probably the excess of fines. We just couldn't squeeze the water out. What this tells us is that if we do supply a press for this material, we're going to have to have a strong taper to the shaft uh, to achieve uh, extra uh, compression, extra squeezing in order to get all the moisture out.